My name is Nandit, and me and my team we are building Lighthouse. And today I'm going to talk about uh, programmable storage uh, on FPM that we are building at our team. And I think this will be very, very relevant for many people because of two reasons. One is if you're a business, and by the end of this two-week conference, you want to integrate Lighthouse in some way, could be very interesting to pass on these technical details to your team. And second is if you're a developer, ETH India is coming, so uh, build on Lighthouse and hack on uh, Filecoin virtual machine. Yeah, so our team is active contributor to the Filecoin ecosystem from uh, last two years. Like uh, we have made it super easy uh, for developers to build on Filecoin and FPM. And we are solving major pain points for developers to use this technology with our own personal experience as well. And our Lighthouse suite of products include four offerings. One is Lighthouse Files, which is a very easy to use interface to go and upload and share files built on our Lighthouse SDK which many of the developers will inter interact or uh, to store data on Filecoin, IPFS, and use Filecoin virtual machine. CLI is again a convenient tool for developers. And fourth is Lighthouse coverage, which in Hindi means, uh, like word for that is shield, uh, which means like it has, it is there to protect your data, to store encrypted data, build token gated applications. And yeah, Lighthouse right now is the top choice for FPM teams. For example, SPN DAO is building a credit score data DAO, and they are using Lighthouse not just to store the data, but also token gate access to credit score of user data. Ocean Protocol recently integrated Lighthouse where um, now if you're building on Ocean Data Marketplace, you can uh, store data on Filecoin using Lighthouse. Then Syscoin uh, is a blockchain which rolled out a layer two called as Rolux, and they are using Lighthouse for their of state chain storage and also data availability usage. And the fourth is like one of the projects here, like File Market, who is uh, building uh, NFT collections on Filecoin virtual machine and using Lighthouse underneath. And what do we mean when we mean programmable storage? In a way, what I say about programmable storage is that it is smart storage. Like we have heard in Web3 about smart NFT, smart money, but FVM makes storage much smarter. And uh, with this, you can program a resource like storage on a granular level. What does that mean is, previously you could just upload your file to a storage system. Now you can also specify parameters that you want X number of replications, Y renewal epochs, uh, Z repair policy, as uh, what it means is that what happens if a miner drops your file, and then which miners do you want to store your data on, and on which locations that could be maybe India, or Amsterdam, or somewhere else in the world. And I wouldn't go much deeper into the technical flow, but essentially you can uh, use our SGK and smart contract to store the data, uh, and then do these replication, repair, and renew jobs, um, and then verify that the data is live uh, on the Filecoin network. And underlying, we have this interesting proof, which we call as PODSI, proof of data segment inclusion. What it means is that if a Filecoin miner is storing a big 32 GB chunk of file, how do we verify that your one uh, KB dog JPEG is in that 32 GB bundle? So with PODSI, you can easily verify that. An interesting thing that we launched three days back, which sounds very simple, but wasn't there in the ecosystem from long time, is that now you can make payments in native Filecoin tokens uh, on FVM mainnet and testnet per file upload. Let's say you need not wait for 32 GB to fill up. Lighthouse aggregates and you can pay per file, per NFT to the Filecoin network in Filecoin tokens that the miners accept. And then this enables a, a lot of variety of use cases. Uh, the whole FPM space uh, where perpetual storage is one big proposition we are building, but then storage insurance, data DAOs is another good example. Um, and essentially, if you want to build on FPM on any level, you would likely um, be more successful if you use um, Lighthouse and it will be super easy for you. And one use case that we have been building uh, super keen from start is perpetual storage, like rather than on a cloud system like Google Drive or iCloud where you have to pay every month, Lighthouse perpetual storage allows you to pay once and store your data long term. That could be a couple of years or to forever. And this is funded by an endowment pool which lives on chain and then pays for your storage deals over a period of time. And again, depending on various uh, risk levels on how much do you pay upfront for this payment, uh, the storage, uh, like this perpetual storage could live, could live for like a couple of years to even forever, depending on the risk level 
of the endowment pool yield. The second use case that our team has worked on with our SDK is programmable access control that not just you can store data but also uh, program who accesses this data and then underlying we use something called as threshold cryptography. Uh, in short, it means that your private key to the file is not with a single trusted party, but distributed across uh, multiple nodes. And now we also released a passkey support to it. So in short, now you can use fingerprint and face ID to access uh, data programmatically stored on um, FVM and Filecoin. And then a lot of users ask us, okay, this is cool, but can I use it in my day-to-day -day life? So we built this demo applications and many other teams are building interfaces similar to this uh, on Lighthouse. This one is called as Lighthouse Files. Uh, you can easily log in through even email, like shout out to Web3 Auth guys, they are here. We have integrated that uh, for email login and then MetaMask, Phantom, wallets as well. And then it looks like a very simple to use dashboard available on Mac, Windows, Linux on closed beta. Uh, and then you can even select folders in, on your Mac or Windows device that you need not even come to this interface, just drop uh, pictures to this, these folders and you should be able to uh, see them on the Filecoin miner. So very easy to use interface. Again, keeping it short, I'll end up with some closing thoughts. Again, I think Yuan and Balaji had a talk this morning talking about the India advantage. I would just uh, touch one minute on that. I think India has done a pretty good job uh, like UPI has scaled to uh, like billions of transactions each and every year and has impacted life of even a normal wage earner in India. And in the times of COVID, we have shown that how uh, India is not just uh, extractor of value, but provider of value, like supplying uh, COVID vaccines to over, I think, 150 countries all across the world. So what I want to highlight this is that India is a natural generator of public goods. Now there's a lot of talk about uh, big tech out in the market that, okay, big tech is getting bigger, how do we beat them? I believe that if we take India model, we need not beat them, we can create an alternate option where to continue to build public goods at scale of UPI, and let's say how we delivered COVID vaccines at scale and speed. Can we put Web3 at core of our India stack to accelerate innovation and build for the world in new way? Let's say a team like Lighthouse, with less than 10 developers, we need not have the whole bandwidth of AWS and GCP, but with our service and software layer, we can use a Filecoin network underneath and serve uh, markets all around the world. And yeah, at Lighthouse, we have embarked that journey uh, with Filecoin, and I'll also encourage you to find your own uh, ways to take Indian public goods to the market with Web3 at its core. Thank you.